Ryan Eversley, great to see you here in a prototype challenge car. Tell me about how that testing has gone. I know that the series is asking some teams to try a few different things to uh, get the car settled in for Daytona. How's it been? Yeah, it's nice. We've tried a few different things in the gearing to kind of help get out of the rev limiter and uh, hopefully get us a little more straight line speed. It's been great working with the Bar 1 Motorsports guys again. They're, I drove for them a few times now, and they're just great guys and fun to be around. And we're just kind of here to evaluate if my uh, co-driver, uh, Adam Merzon, wants to do some more races this year. Fortunately, uh, Honda has allowed me to do LMPC as it's a non-manufacturer class, so that's really nice of them. And uh, the schedule works out that we could do the NAEC if he so wants to do it. So that's why we're here. Uh, I'd say the frustrating thing I've seen or, or what's going to be an interesting part of this race, even if I'm not in it, is the, uh, the speed class differentials. We're probably the slowest cars in a straight line right now uh the lamborghini and the mercedes cars like that i can't actually pull up to them in the draft in a pc car so uh you have to get them on the brakes which you can absolutely do but the corner speeds here are so slow that the arrow on our car doesn't really work as well as it should except for the kink really so passing is going to be very difficult when you add in some of the pros that are in the GTD cars or GTLM cars versus some of the AMs that are in the PC cars. It's just going to make it another one of those hard things to balance. So uh, IMSA has a work cut out for them, and I'm sure they know that. But uh, that's kind of where they're at right now. Last question for you. Exciting news today. You and Sean Heckman from the Media Barons uh, released a massive podcast dump. I'll have you tell us about it, but can you also tell us about uh, what it was like eating a wolf turd? I did eat a wolf turd. You were present. It was actually delicious. A wolf turd is a bacon-wrapped jalapeno with something stuffed inside of it. Maybe wolf. I don't know. It was delicious. I did it again. Uh, yeah, Sean and I traveled across the country for the entire month of October to bring you guys uh, 27 dinners. Dinner with Racers is the name of the podcast. So uh, hope you enjoy it. Remember, it's free, so don't be too critical on Twitter, which we're assuming you all will be. Um, it was amazing to see how people would let us into their homes or, or sit down with us in an intimate setting and just get to talk shop about anything from peeing in the seat to uh, taking out somebody you don't like in a race or uh, all the things in between there. So I'm very proud of what we were able to do. And major hats off to Sean Heckman, Continental Tire, and Acura for sponsoring us. And uh, just all the work Sean had to put into it. I, I got the, the good side of it by just being fun and having dinner. He had to do all the editing and things like that. So he's probably dead right now. So rest in peace, Sean Heckman. Thanks for everything you did for us.